Meet Yo Ching. He is preparing for the IELTS writing test. He knows the basic requirements, but has taken the IELTS writing test before and not achieved the score he wanted. He realizes he has been doing some things in IELTS writing task one that don't work. Yo Ching reflects on his study process. In the past, he has tried to describe every number on charts and graphs. He realizes he should have identified two to three main and significant points in each diagram and described these. He has also copied words from the exam question or from the titles of illustrations. This resulted in lower marks. In addition, he has used too many linking words or phrases just because he knows them. He realizes he needs a new plan for success in IELTS Writing Task 1. Yo Ching looks in on his friend Kai Sheng to find out how she has been successful. First, Kai Sheng reads the instructions carefully to understand what is required to fully complete the question. It is dangerous to rush answers before understanding the task first, so Kai Sheng takes her time doing this. Yo Ching watches as Kai Sheng looks at the information and begins reflecting on what she sees. First, she paraphrases the key words using different words. So for this question, she writes this. It is important to understand the information depicted, so Kai Sheng analyzes what she sees. Then she looks for the most significant trends in the diagram. She writes an overview of the information presented, telling Yo Ching that this is one of the keys for her high score. This can be included in either the introduction or conclusion, and will usually be a couple of sentences. After noticing points to be highlighted, she thinks about how she would describe them. She considers the grammatical tenses that are relevant. As this graph covers years in the past, past tense grammar is appropriate to talk about the information. As the graph also has future predictions, she will use future aspects in her writing too. Kai Sheng makes a few notes, planning and organizing her thoughts to arrange her paragraphs effectively before she begins to write her summary. As she continues to write, she separates her paragraphs clearly and uses themes for each paragraph. This allows her to explain her ideas fully. She uses a variety of verbs and adjectives when describing the information in order to show a range of vocabulary. One of her favorite tools is to make notes on a line showing a variety of words to use to describe degrees of change for her essay. Yo Ching has learned a lot by watching Kai Sheng's process. Yo Ching practices this process many times for himself. Now Yo Ching finds himself ready to take the IELTS exam again, this time with confidence in a good process. He has also taken time to watch the British Council's other IELTS writing videos. He retakes the IELTS test and achieves his target score. If you follow the do's and don'ts for the IELTS Task 1 writing, you can increase your chance of a higher score, just like Yo Ching. The world speaks IELTS.